demonstration. I bet. A big build-up for nothing. Hey, look out! Oh, sorry, I thought I saw the boomerang coming. You mean you asked us out here to see that thing? I've seen lots of boomerangs and it ain't made cold. About as exciting as watching paint dry. Oh, but my brother has made the biggest boomerang in the world. A revolutionary new design. Stand back. You'll all be cheering in a few minutes. It's big, all right, but will it come back? Yeah, boomerangs are old hat. Nobody wants to see them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you're the one that's out of fashion. Boomerangs are big news these days, folks. The authorities are considering making boomerangs join one of the official sports of the Olympics. What do you think of that? And even the Olympic Committee has never seen one as big as this. Yeah, my brother made oh, Anybody can make a boomerang. After all, it's just a piece of wood. I, I bet I could build a better one. Well, come on, do something, Walter. Stop arguing and throw the darn thing. Okay, space. okay, stand back and give Walter some room. And now the biggest boomerang thrown by the biggest expert in the world. This way. This way. Maybe I should do it like a baseball player. Three strikes for out. Good book. Yes, I'll take a nap. Wake me up if he throws it. Now, here she goes. Geronimo! Uh-oh. Well, I don't think it's coming back, but it really did fly. Yeah, but it went in an absolutely straight line. Yeah, the only boomerang in the world that can't turn. Anything. All they can do is laugh at a real artist. Okay, well, there maybe was a little work you can get your boomerang to turn. Yeah, so it'd come back to you like other boomerangs. You don't want to make it so easy. But we, we don't, don't know, know anything, anything about, about boomerangs. boomerangs. Oh, Fluffy, 
What's that funny thing you're making? I'm inventing a brand new amazing machine. What is it? It's an electronic boomerang. Electronomical? Electronic. It involves a more advanced technology than just ordinary radio control. Oh, wonderful. Let's take it out and try no, it. No, I haven't finished it yet. You say Floppy's making an electronic boomerang? That sounds a lot more exciting than Walter's boomerang. I bet it'll be a whiff. You'll have it ready to fly very soon. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah. Here come Walter and his brothers. I suppose they want to show off that big boomerang again. It's so boring. What do you say we tiptoe away? Yeah. <laughs> the celebrated biggest boomerang in the world can now make a U-turn and come back. Just like a boomerang. I wish you'd just keep going. And we'd never hear of it again. Get out of our way, everybody. Oh! <laughs> Here we go! Now watch it turn. Now, Wally, what do you think? Tell me for sure. Did it work or what? <laughs> sure, it's a success. The boomerang came back, didn't it? He should put a warning siren on that thing. Are you all right, Walter? You look a little peaked. Oh, somebody slugged me. That wasn't somebody. That was your boomerang. It came right back to where it started. You were crowned with success, your boomerang. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. My own brother making fun of me? No. Yeah. Something boomerang Mimi was telling us about? That's not a boomerang, it's an electric bumblebee. Yeah. Huh? Whoa. Think of that, a radio controlled boomerang. Please call it an electronic boomerang. It sounds better. I call it a flying pinwheel. You certainly can't call it a boomerang. You want to have a contest, Walter? With that flying blender of yours? Sure, let's have a contest, but you haven't got a chance. Not against my handcrafted boomerang. <laughs> now watch carefully, Floppy. My boomerang will go around that tower over there and come right back to me. Ah! Robert, Whoa. look there, it's Mimi. What's the matter, Laura? Mimi fell into the river and the current carried her off. Oh, Mimi. Help, save me. Oh, oh. <laughs> Mimi, hang on, Mimi, we're coming. Ruby, we we're coming. Uh, I'm just not used to all this running. Mimi slipped and fell in right here and was washed away. Mimi, Mimi. The water is very high because of last night's rain and the river is racing fast. I hear someone call it. Help me! Oh, where are you? Somebody help me! Oh, there she is, by that rock! Are you sure, Floppy? Please help me! I can't hang on much longer! Oh, oh, oh! Mimi! Floppy! Oh, oh, oh! Mimi, I'm coming! Uh, uh, if you jump in there, Floppy, you'll just be swept away! Thanks, Rupert, but what are we going to do? If everybody pulls down vines, we can make a rope. Help me! Please, please! Mimi, keep hanging on to that rope! Here, Bobby, the rope is all ready now. Now, Tommy and Nick take one end of the rope and swim out to that rock. Nick and Tammy aren't here yet. <laughs> what do we do? Oh, Floppy, could that carry the rope? Yeah, that'll be just the thing. <laughs> Help is on the way. Hang on. Oh. It short circuited when the water hit it.
turn now with my boomerang. Mimi, catch hold of it. Whoa. Oh, please hurry. I'm slipping. Keep calm now, Walter. And that's a great boomerang you made. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm awful glad your sister is safe. Yay, Walter! Three cheers for Walter! Yep. Oh, this is what did it. The best boomerang in the whole world! The Adventures of the Little Koala will be right back after these messages. Hmm? Hmm? No. Well, hey, what's the matter, Magellan? Well, I wanted it to rain today. Oh. Well, it looks like a sunny day to me. Yeah, but I was ready to splash in the puddles and catch the drops and do my rain dance. Ta-da! <laughs> well, you can't get rain every day, Magellan. No, but you can watch Eureka's Castle every weekday right after Maya the Bee. Rain or shine. Uh -huh. He was the perfect vampire. Except for one little problem. Dust has no teeth. Let's see that again in slow-mo. But even without fangs, Count Duckula was no quack. Watch Ducky Poo, his creepy butler Igor, and bigger than a bread box nanny, travel the world, meet interesting people, and even go for rides in outer space. If only real life was like this. Count Duckula, every weekend on the network you can really sink your teeth into. Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon knows that taking care of the Earth is a big job. But you can help, just by using your feet. Whenever we use our feet to get us where we gotta go, we're helping the Earth. Because the cars adults drive are some of the world's biggest polluters. <laughs> so if you know your parents aren't going far, get them to use their feet. Like us. It may take a few lessons, but they'll catch on. For more ways that you can help the Earth, keep watching the first kids' network, Nickelodeon. And now, back to the adventures of the little koala. I'm Nick Jr. I just can't decide what to give Mommy for her birthday. What did you give her last year, Ruth Bear? I don't remember. Oh, yes. I drew a picture of Mommy and put it in a frame. I remember I made a necklace for her out of two kinds of nuts. to give her this year. I don't know either. Papa, what are you going to get for Mommy? Well, maybe I'll get a... I wonder if she'd like a... I guess she wouldn't want a... Well, well, you're all looking very thoughtful tonight. What's all this meditation about? Won't you tell me? Mm -hmm. Ruben, Laura? Papa? Mm -hmm. So it's a secret you don't want me to know. Let me see. I can't imagine what it could be about. I'll dig out all my savings. It's not much. I wonder if there's anything I can get for Mommy with this little bit. A new refrigerator or an electric stove. Slippers, a dress. I just haven't got enough. I can buy her with this little bit of money. 
A birthday present for your mother can be anything at all, as long as you give it to her with love. She'll be happy. You don't even have to spend money for it, you know. Oh, Blue Bear, you're looking so depressed today. Is anything the matter? Hello, Betty. I'm just trying to think of what to give Mommy. What did you give your Mommy for her birthday? Oh, I made a eucalyptus cake for her. She really loved it. I learned how to make it from your Mommy. A cake? But not from a boy. Oh, there goes my hat. It's blowing huh? away. Catch it, somebody. <coughs> oh, thank you so much. I like this hat. <sighs> I'd like one myself. Great! I'll get you one for your next birthday. You'd look very pretty in a straw hat. Oh, do you really think so? Gee, Lou Bear, would you let me try on that hat? Sure you can, Betty. But just for a second, okay? Yep. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, oh, how's it look? Do you think it suits me? Sure, you look real great. Oh, Oh! your fault, Betty. Hold this, will you? Be careful, Rubear. Dun, 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 dun. What's the matter? Trouble? That hat's caught in the tree. I can't quite reach it. Don't worry, Rubear. I'll get it with my boomerang. Oh, goodness. Be careful, Walter. You might hit Rubear. I never fumble my shots. Hey! There, Rubear, just don't move and I'll get it. Hey. Oh. Now that's a great shot, you have to admit. Good shooting, Walter. Betty, you should thank Walter for helping you. But I didn't even ask him to help us. <laughs> Walter! Thanks very much, Walter.
sure it's all my fault. It wasn't your fault, Betty. It was the wind. But if only I hadn't wanted to try it on, we wouldn't have gotten into all this trouble. Well, look at that. That's a mess. Don't blame us. It wasn't our fault. Come on, boys. There's nothing more we can do here. <laughs> I'm awfully sorry, Bear. I'll try it in the sun. We'll decorate the hat with flowers so no one can see the hat. Decorate the hat? Ah! What a good idea! Oh, Betty, will you do it? Sure. the candles, Bummy. What fun! <sighs> Congratulations, <laughs> Mummy! Many, many happy returns! Yay. That was great! Here's my gift to you, Mummy. Thank you, dear. I wonder what it can be. <gasps> what a nice picture of me! Here's my gift, Mummy. Thank you, Laura. Oh, my, it's so beautifully wrapped. An apron, and I really need one. How do I look, Papa? Pretty as always. Mommy, this present is from me and Betty. Thank you. What a pretty box. Well, it's a lovely spring hat. I've always wanted a straw hat with flowers. Look at me now. Do you like it, Mommy? It's the nicest hat I've ever had. Thanks to you all. Such a lovely gift. She liked it, Rubear. Thanks to you, Betty.